Business is booming. One Treasure Valley computer repair company is seeing a huge increase in the number of people with viruses that virtually shut down their machines. And the worst thing about it is that your virus protection won't likely be able to stop it. It's a great thing for our business. Yeah. It's a busy time at Scott Galloway's computer repair shop, Quick Computer Services in Meridian. We're repairing between 15 and 25 infected systems a week. A uh, typical job runs $100, $150 uh, per job. That's around 10 grand in a month. That's because more and more clients are coming in with computers that have been infected with malware or spyware. They're software that's written to affect your computer by giving you pop-up and warning ads, driving you to other websites that want you to buy something or take your credit card information. Anything that's normally a paid product, but a website says that it's free, uh, that's where you can pick up uh, a malware infection. If you've had something like this pop up on your screen, you know how annoying it can be, and it can be costly. For real to Ron Miniger, not only did it cost him money, but it cost him and his clients valuable time. I was juggling three different clients at the time. It was a Saturday, and so um, I was preparing for an appointment and basically wiped out my whole day on that Saturday. He actually got his infection through Facebook, but there are many ways malware and spyware can worm their way into your computer. It can show up on your email. It can show up on as a Facebook message. Uh, it can show up on if you're searching for videos online. Scott says not even the best virus protection software in the world can stop the infections once you've inadvertently clicked on a link to one of them. He says you need to change the way you browse, meaning you need to think a little bit before you visit a website and interact with it. And then there's the best piece of advice of all. If you haven't heard of it and uh, you don't know exactly what it is, then best not install it. And Scott counts anything by Adobe, Microsoft, and RealPlayer on the safe list of places to download. The best thing to do is contact your local computer specialist for more information on ways to protect yourself from getting infected.